to my channel and before I begin if you are new here I'm bringing a high tower and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into this video so the reason that I'm doing this video is because um, a lot of people do ask me what supplements I take and I normally will tell them okay this, this is what works for me for my body this is what I personally like from the things I have tried um, yes, I am a model and ambassador for VPX Sports, which VPX Sports makes Redline Energy and Bang Energy. There are supplements I take that are not VPX Sports, but majority of them are, and it is not because I, I am a model for them. It's because I truly have found a few products from them that really, really work for my body and I really like. So, basically, I, ha I came across um, a small issue... So someone, you know, did her research, which is perfectly fine, and she found um, from back in the past when a few of the VPX slash Fredline products were banned. Um, the research was old, and you know, it's good on people to go and do the research and make sure that they're aware of what they're putting in their body. I'm totally for that, and I actually recommend that because, like I said, everything is going to work differently for everybody. So, um, but with that happening, me and that person had a lot of the same follower base. So a lot of people that have bought products based off posts that I've made were contacting me, um, more specifically ones that are members of the military, like, hey, am I okay to take this? Because one of the things that found were that the two products I'm going to go over today, um, were banned from Department of Defense members because they did used to be. I'm just going to go ahead right now and get that out there. They did used to be back in 2000 uh, 2014-2015. Um, so because of that, I felt the need to make this video and just let those know exactly about the two products and how that went just to clear all of the air because a lot of people were messaging me asking me about it and basically about what was going on. So... The two products are going to be that I'm talking about today are the Redline Extreme Energy Drinks. And the second one is the Meltdown Fat Burners. I don't have Meltdown Fat Burners on hand. I have the Redline Microburst, but it's a very similar pill to the um, VPX Meltdown Fat Burner. I will say the Meltdown is just, it acts a little bit more quicker, but it's very similar. So I'm just going to kind of use this bottle and then use this pill to show you kind of how the pill actually works. So let's just go ahead and jump the right VPX Sports Fat Burner. Wait, okay, so... Guys, so water, number one part of being fit, you should be drinking a gallon of water a day. I'm behind, so I'm just drinking this cup. So I need to finish this cup of water before the end of this video. So if I take okay, water so breaks, that is why. I do have a, f um, a few notes in front of me just because I want to make sure I have like exact names of things, exact names of ingredients. So I do have a few notes in front of me, so if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. So first we'll go ahead and go in with the Meltdown Fat Burner. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what that actual bottle looks like, and then a small description of the Fat Burner. So, VPX Sports has been around for a long time. They were founded in 1993 by our CEO, Jack Owok. So, basically, the original Meltdown, um, which came out in 2012, it, you know it's going to be the original if the bottle looks like this. bottle if you're ordering from a an off-brand site and you see that bottle that is the old stuff do not get it it really shouldn't even be sold on any sites now anyways it's going to be that new bottle that i showed you previous so basically i'll show you what the pill is going to look like because like i said with this fat burner that's the red line one looks very similar so it's basically going to be a liquid capsule looking like so so you see that so there's liquid inside there and then as you can see at the top, it's going to be a lot of the form. So what that is, um, one of a fat burner. So 
um, it is burning fat through um, manipulating your metabolic pathway. So it is going to manipulate your metabolism. So it's going to increase your metabolism. Um, what that's going to do is it's going to cause you to burn fat faster um, to control your appetite so you're not feeling as hungry as you normally would. Um, it's going to increase your energy, increase your focus. I personally love Meltdown. I've been taking, I take it, I take one a day every morning and it's very fast acting because it is a liquid capsule. It's, um, it absorbs into your blood very quickly and it's very fast acting. So you're going to feel that energy almost right away when you take it. Um... The basically when it first came out, the reason that the VPX Sports meltdown and also why the red line was um considered banned, I wouldn't say banned, it was just considered unsafe by the FDA. Um, was because uh, I'm gonna read off my notes, it can train methylpentane citrate, which is also no known as big word, bear with me, dimethylbutamine citrate. AKA what a lot of you probably know it as DMBA or AMP citrate. So if you see that on the back of a supplement you're taking, it's probably not considered safe by the FDA. The reason for that is um well for the red line, the original red line and the original um meltdown was because there wasn't enough founded research and studies on the DMBA drug that they didn't know if it was completely safe to be intaking into your body. So because the FDA made it unregulated, obviously the, the Department of Defense made it unregulated because for military members, they're not gonna let us take anything that's not that doesn't have a complete green light because they need us to be on top of our game at all times. So um, basically they wrote a letter to Jack Owak, which I am going to show the exact letter now that was dated from um, 2015. So let me go ahead and show As you read in the letter, um, it uh, Jack was warned and told that you know he needed to take it off shelves and fix it. So what did he do? Awesome CEO he is. He went, he took it off the shelves. He got back in his lab with his partners, and they took the DM DMBA out, found a new, better, safe way. And that's why if you see on the label of the new meltdown, it says the new and improved meltdown. Um, after the new and improved meltdown was distributed to the FDA, they went ahead. And they gave it the okay, the okay, so that everything is good with it. So it became official, and I think it was February of 2017. And I also have the letter for that, so I'll go ahead and show you that now, where it was given the official okay. So yes, as you can see, yes, at one point the meltdown was not safe by the FDA or DOD. I went back to the DOD um, site and I had to go actually to legal when I became an ambassador for the company um, and just kind of get the okay that I was okay to have this because it is considered my second job. And they did not give the red flag on any products. Now, meltdown is not on any list. It's completely fine, good to go. So we'll just go ahead right into redline um redline is on the high risk list and i 100 percent believe that redline is on the high risk list because people do not read people do not take the time to read a supplement before they just go ahead and intake it so they're taking this improperly it says on this bottle five different times that this bottle is two servings you are not supposed to intake more than four ounces. So this whole bottle was eight ounces. You are not supposed, which, let, side note, which is really nice because you're getting two servings worth in one bottle. So you're getting two days of pre-workout in one bottle. So that's really nice in my opinion. But the problem is people don't read even though it says it on here five different times. I'm literally going to read you this bottle and I'm going to show you how many times. So it's eight ounces. You are not supposed to take more than four ounces. A, it has on here exactly where the four ounces mark is. So that is half a serving. Excuse me, that is a full serving. Makes it very clear on here. Um, I'm going to show you guys the five times that it has so, it on okay, this bottle. We have the bottle. So one right here. 
contains two servings. Okay, so that's one. I count this as two because right here contains two servings, drink half bottle only. Three, one serving, four ounce mark. So there we go, we got three times that it says it. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys read. The only thing that gives you a warning is if you are pregnant, um, if you have a cold, if you've had blood pressure, cardiac arrhythmia, stroke, all things that you probably should not be taking pre-workouts. So again, so here we go. Four contains two servings. And I know there's one more on here. Let me find it. I know there's one more on here. Well, there's one more on here, but I can't find it right now. But more of the story. You saw all those times that it has how many times you should only have half of this bottle. After Jack fixed the red line and um, took out the um, DMBA out of the red line, it was good to go. But the reason that, red, like I said, red line is still on the high risk list. It's not banned from DOD members. I take red line all the time. I've been popped for so many drug tests. And I don't think the red line is bad for you. But, oh, hey, I found where it says right there contains two servings on the top so right on the top so five times i told you says it on this bottle but i i personally know people who have said i didn't like the red line and when you know i'm gonna ask them why and when they ask me why they say well it made me feel sick and then i ask them two questions did you take it after eating they'll say no i just took it when i woke up i don't recommend that I do fasted cardio in the morning and I do take my fat burner and sometimes pre, but that is because my body is more used to it. I don't recommend taking any pre-workout without having at least like a small meal, like an apple or something beforehand. And then the second thing they'll tell me is, well, I'll say, well, how much did you drink? They'll say, well, I chugged the bottle. Why are you chugging the bottle? It specifically says on there. Two serving, I showed you guys, like, so you just have to start reading. So, I went online and looked up a few, you know, reviews, and all the reviews I got on Redline from critics were the same, that they feel like it's on the high risk list, list because of the same reason. People aren't reading the bottle, and therefore they want to hold the company at fault when it's not the company. So, water break. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the reviews that I found online. Just go ahead and read them. Read through them. Tell me if you think some of these sound smart. Why are you drinking two full 8-ounce red lines back to back? What makes you think that's okay? If you take... There's so many other pre-workouts. Um, let's think pro sups. Um, even something as easy as C4. Um, anything. If you take that much pre-workout, you're bound to give yourself. That's four days worth of pre-workout that he drank in a few hours. So, like I said, read before you consume. Again, why are you drinking several red line a day? Like, so uh, that's why I say people want to do these things and then blame the company when you need to read. If you drink several, go read reviews for people that drink several monsters a day, several Red Bulls a day, that intake a ton of even coffee a day. They have the same side effects. So like I said, guys, I, I know people that have taken red line and I drank a whole thing, and I yelled at them, and they're like, yeah, I didn't feel anything. And then I know people that, that drink a whole thing, and they're, like, holding their heart at the gym. Then I know people that drink half a thing, and they're like, it was too much. Half a thing, and it wasn't enough. Everyone's body's different. Everyone's body's going to react differently to supplements, which is why I say find what works for you. What works for you. Find that. It might take some trial and error, but the one thing I will say is that in that time that you are trying to find what works for you, you also need to make sure that you're being safe, that you're reading labels, that you're taking the recommended dosage because the dosage is given by diet, by dietitians. Like these, I know for a fact, the Jack Owalk, the CEO of Redline and VPX Sports and Bang, 
He is, he's a smart man. He's well-educated. He's a businessman, yes, but he also knows his stuff when it comes to getting the proper dietitian, the proper nutritionalist, to get him the exact serving size that you need for these things. So if you have any more questions, guys, um, feel free to comment below. I will answer any of your questions or contact me on my Instagram um, at It's the Massey Fit. Um, or yeah, just comment on here because I made this video because you guys were asking me questions. So feel free to continue to ask questions. So thank you so much for subscribing. Um, well, if you do subscribe, mess that up. <laughs> but for watching, um, yeah, give me feedback, like, comment, and um, I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye.